Becky and Pine Belt, Monday marks the 135th anniversary of a major heavyweight prize fight held right here in the Pine Belt. Now, some historians say it was the first great international sporting event and the last great bare knuckle world championship. Our Charles Harrington has more on that tonight. On July 8th, 1889, two prize fighters met right here, just outside Hattiesburg, to decide the World Heavyweight Championship. It was the first sports event covered nationwide, so that kind of sets it aside. You can go on the internet and there's just an unbelievable amount of material about that fight. It was the fight between champion John L. Sullivan and challenger Jake Kilrain. What made this fight different, it was a, and the reason it was here, was because they was fighting by the London prize rules and that was barefisted. 3,000 people attended the fight, which took place in 100 degree temperatures. Sullivan won the contest, which lasted 75 rounds. They uh, cleaned out the woods the day before for these 3,000 people and, and uh, built the ring, you know, and the ring was on dirt and uh, had their fight. So it, it was just a lot of things that come together to, to just make it special. Not only special, but also against the law. Both Sullivan and Kilrain were brought back to Mississippi and tried for illegal prize fighting. Sullivan paid a fine, but never served any time in jail. Kilrain served a brief jail sentence by working on the farm where the fight took place. What do you think still fascinates people about it? I think it was a of how brutal those fights were. I mean, if you can for, for boxing fans, uh, that's what they think about. You know, that was, that was a brutal fight. Sullivan kept his title until 1892 when he lost to gentleman Jim Corbett in New Orleans. Both fighters were wearing gloves in that match. Charles Harrington, WDAM7, on your side. Now, Sullivan died in 1918 and Kilrain lived another 19 years, dying in 1937. Kilrain served as a pallbearer at Sullivan's funeral.